uh, December, what is it, 4th? Somewhere around there. Southwest Florida, it is raining not a lot. This is not a Florida thunderstorm, but it's drizzling. But I normally would not cook on my big renege when it's raining, but I want steak and I'm going to do it. I don't care. I just don't care. So, um, so I got my big green egg up under my eaves. <laughs> you know, I have about three feet, three feet of eaves there under my house. And if I found this, if I pull my egg right up under that, it doesn't get rained on. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and uh, you know see what happens. At least it's fairly dry. Sorry. Fairly dry under the eaves. And I can I can actually stand inside my patio door here. So I'm not standing out in the rain while I use my loof lighter. And I kind of thought that was a pretty good idea. Okay, here goes my loof lighter. Taking a little longer, maybe a little longer than normal here, but it will, it will catch. That's fine. Okay, so let me go over here. Spark. Sorry, trying to stay out, trying to keep the shadow uh, from the subject matter here. Um, so this is, this is how I light my big green egg charcoal in my big green egg griller, smoker, cooker, convection oven. 
out here in the rain in Southwest Florida. <laughs> You know, go around, yeah, it takes, a, I don't know, a few minutes, but then again, what's your alternative? Put a bunch of lighter fluid on some charcoal and let it sit there for 20 minutes? And it finally burns down, and you get, burns down to whatever, whatever it burns down to, I forget, I haven't used that in a long time. So anyway, you see all that? Do you see that? That is charcoal. Actually, it's, <laughs> it's more than just charcoal. It's actually charcoal that's burning. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave things right here. Going to let things go, let it heat up. Last time I cooked this ribeye steak, I overcooked it because it's a thin steak. So this time I'm going to I'm going to bring it up to 600 degrees. Sear it for 2 minutes on each side as recommended. Uh, but then I'm going to just close the vents, and let it sit for I don't know, maybe 3 minutes max. 3 minutes max. 3 minutes max. Okay. Okay. I will <clears throat> I'll be back <clears throat> I'll be back Jeez all of a sudden it's up to like 7 50 or 725 or something because I was doing other things doesn't you have to watch this thing so I closed I closed down the bottom vent a bit and I'm gonna try to stabilize it around 600 see I closed it down like two-thirds of the way and see how the temperature is dropping I'm gonna try to drop it down to 600 I'm gonna sear this steak at 600 this time instead of Instead of 700. Right now I'm playing with the bottom vent. Playing with it. Opening, closing. Should be coming down a little bit now. See it's coming down a little now. I want to kind of stabilize it at 600 this time. Instead of 700. Okay, 600. I'm going to open it just a hair. I mean, maybe a half an inch or so. Let's see what that does. No, oh, I'm going to open it more. Open it another half. And see, it's coming back up. <laughs> coming back up. I want to get it to 600. When you're cooking high temperature like this, like I say, just leave the top daisy wheel, whatever, off altogether. Use your bottom vent to control it. Okay, I'm closing it down just to like a quarter of an inch. Close it down about a quarter of an inch. Okay. That's, uh, I think, pretty close. Well, I'm going to put my cast iron 
grill in there right now and I'm going to let that sit for five, five minutes or so to stabilize at 600 and heat up the grill. Hey, <laughs> we've got flame. And if I haven't mentioned this before, if you have a cast iron grill, you got to get this grid lifter thing. You really have to get it. It is totally necessary with the cast iron grill. Okay, here we go. Okay, letting it get back up slowly, climbing back up to 600. Then I'll toss my steak on and we'll see what happens. Two minutes each side. But I'm not going to leave it after I close the fence down. I'm not going to leave it for longer than maybe three minutes max. Maybe even two and a half minutes. It's not a thick steak. Last time I did this steak, I brought it up to 700 degrees. Actually, I almost feel like opening the vent more to get it up there faster, but yeah, it'll, it'll come up there. And I overcooked my steak because I think 700 was a little too much for this thin a steak. But you know what? <laughs> this is exciting stuff, isn't it? This is exciting stuff. Watching the temperature gauge on my big green egg slowly, slowly climb. I could open up the bottom vent a little more, make it climb faster. In fact, I just might do that, uh, considering I don't know how bored you're getting watching this gauge rise. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Okay, I just opened it up another half an inch or so. <clears throat> but see, you have to see how just a small adjustment affects the temperature. Especially you new, you new big green egg owners and users. I open it up a half an inch. You see how the temperature is going up notice, noticeably faster? Hitting 500 now. <clears throat> And it's climbing. When it hits 600, I'm going to bring it back roughly that half an inch. The top vent is completely open. No daisy wheel, no nothing. There's no reason to have that up there if you're just doing high temperature stuff like this. You can control it with the bottom vent. So, okay, we're heading up towards 525, 530. Five forty, five forty-six, forty-seven, yeah, five forty-eight, forty-nine, five fifty, and I'm gonna let it. I'm tempted to open the vent a little more to get it up to six hundred a bit faster, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I will just a little bit. Okay, there's maybe an eighth of an inch. <clears throat> but you know what? It's almost up to 600. I'm sure my cast iron grate is getting well heated. 
going to get some really nice sear marks, but I don't want to overdo the sear marks either. Last time I did this, it was just almost like too hot, and the sear marks were almost too much. Okay, so here we go. I'm shutting it down another like half an inch. Okay, I just closed it down a half an inch or so, and that's fine. What I'm going to do, I think it's going to pretty much stabilize there. I'm going to throw on my stake. Hey, watch this. Remember to open the egg slowly when you're at these temperatures because... If you don't, you might get flame back from all the oxygen you're letting in all of a sudden. Okay, so here we go. Yes, notice how the temperature goes down when you open the lid. That, that happens. Uh, but it's still cooking, it's still searing. I know it's only coming up to 550 right now, but you know what? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay, two minutes there. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, oh. a little bit of singe on the hair hands, but who cares? We're looking for steak here. Um, I noticed the sear marks weren't real well defined. I'm going to do this one for maybe two and a half minutes on this side. A little, little more sear. See, it's uh, climbing back up to, yeah, it's slowly climbing back up to 600. You know, whether it's 575 or 600, it's still cooking that steak. right there it's almost it's pretty much 600 so listen those of you who are new to cooking steak on a big egg you have to play with it it's not just automatic you have to play with it you have to learn your egg you have to learn your charcoal and temperature and how the different steaks you buy respond to it 
Okay, it looks to me like it's coming pretty close up to 600 here. Let's see if I set it right that it actually stabilizes around 600. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, you know, 600, 610, 620, 580 really is not critical. The point is you want it basically around that temperature. Don't stress out about making it exactly 600. The egg, the, your, sorry, the other egg, the, your steak doesn't know if it's 600 or 700 or 650. Okay, I'm closing it down about like a quarter of an inch. And I don't know if you, you heard that, but my, uh, my buzzer went off. The buzzer went off, so I closed the bottom vent, closed the top vent. I'm letting it sit for... Excuse me, letting it sit for three minutes. <laughs> oh, but I should flip it over. I should flip it over. Okay, here we are. I've let it sit for the requisite five minutes. Oh, feels pretty nice. Let's just see what we have. Hmm. Looks pretty good. It's, it's so moist, so juicy. Jesus. Sorry. I gotta try this out. I have to try this out. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Medium, no, medium rare. I'm going medium rare. This is more how I've tried to cook them all my life. Okay. Okay, well, it's really good. Look at all the moisture, the juice. The juice coming out of this thing. Mm. Okay, well... At least I didn't overcook it this time. <laughs> so I'm learning. This is my third, basically my third steak I've cooked on my egg, and uh, I think it came out much better than 
I don't know, my first one turned out really good too, but I'm learning. You have to adjust your cooking time, your temperatures to what you're cooking. Okay, so I'm going to go eat. Uh, good luck with your egg. And stay tuned for more big green egg videos.